Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna jump inside of Photoshop and we're gonna make some 2D art. It's gonna be very similar to what you might see in some of my previous games that I've launched on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. Now I'm doing 1920 by 1080 pixels. I've created a little gradient here. Now the question is, where are you gonna get a color palette like this, right? Because if you kind of blur your eyes here, it kind of looks like a horizon, right? Well, that's not just random. It's actually just me Googling snowy, I wrote lo-fi landscape. And I found this image here, but you could pick any image you want, um, copy it into Photoshop, right? And just pick and choose some of the colors and create this gradient here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just start with the sky color, which is this right here, okay? Now I'm gonna use the lasso tool, and I don't really know exactly what we're gonna design here, um, but I'm gonna create sort of a polygon, very sort of low poly look here. Um, so I'm just gonna start in the background here and we're gonna create some mountains. So again, we're using the polygon lasso tool here. So I'm gonna do something like this. And this is a really good example of why we're using this color palette here. I press I, which is the eyedropper tool, and I'm just gonna collect colors slowly as we come towards the camera, okay? It needs to look good in its simplest, most basic form, okay? We're gonna be adding plenty of details very, very soon. Okay, so I'm gonna just shift these just a little bit and get it look, looking good in the abstract first, okay? Very, very important, okay? Just a quick shout out. Um, if you wanna support the channel, um, my program, Full-Time Game Dev, which is how to become a full-time game developer like me, um, it's a massive program with 3,500 students worldwide. If you're interested in joining that program, it is 50% off for the new year and to celebrate Christmas. And you're also going to get my program, which is called 2D Art Pro. And you're going to get that totally free with the program. So click below to check it out. They're highly rated programs. Click the link below, check out their reviews and get 50% off. It only lasts for 14 days and there's only 100 seats available. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I, I you know, I think it's fine. I'm gonna add one more effect, okay? You'll notice there's a dark purple here. What is that? Well, it's kind of this, it's kind of like space almost, like you might even see stars up there, but it also can be clouds, like dark storm clouds coming in like a blizzard. It helps to zoom out. Does it look good there? or over here. Nope, I like it on the right side actually. So we're gonna make it on the right side. <laughs> okay, I've decided, there we go. Now I have some really cool brushes that we're gonna be using, okay? Like these God Ray brushes here, create some cool God Rays. I also have these cool um, flowers here. You can paint some small little blue flowers, maybe peeking through the snow. But let's go ahead and just create one, just so you guys know how to create some brushes. If I wanted to create a pine tree brush, I could just create one little pine tree here. Something like, I don't know, this. There we go. And I'm gonna just save this. I'm gonna squash a little bit. Now, you wanna make sure you duplicate this into a new document. There you go. I'm gonna click trim here so that it trims all the pixels away. And then I'm gonna go define brush preset. And there it is, we're gonna call this pine tree. Now it's really important that you take the time to create these brushes guys, because it's gonna make things so much easier for you. All right, so for example, let's start on this layer here, okay? I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna slowly paint. I'm gonna press this uh, left bracket and right bracket to scale it up and I can just make sure my opacity is 100%. And I'm just gonna use the same color, right, as this. Now let's just move backwards, okay? Let's move to this layer here. Now because we're going backwards, we're gonna go a little bit smaller, okay? So a little bit smaller than the ones in front of it. Let's keep going backwards. Let's do this color here. And again, we're gonna add plenty of detail, guys. A little bit smaller.
Now, what do we do about this, okay? Do we do a white tree, a big old white tree? I think we probably could get away with it for sure, right? Um, I think that's totally fine. So let's go ahead and do that. We could do one here. I like to sort of have it intersect right at that line there. That's always cool. Um, something like this and maybe a bigger one right here and right here. So that looks great. I think we could do one more in front and just do it right here. And now let's go ahead and add in some lighting and the lighting is going to make everything really, really pop. Now, the first thing I wanna do is add just a subtle, very subtle overlay of white to look like the sun is setting right here. Okay, so I'm gonna click overlay. There we go, just like this. Drop down the opacity, okay. And we're gonna also create a simulation of fog, okay. So I'm gonna hold Alt and make sure that this layer is over top and masked onto this layer. And that's gonna allow me to do some gradients over it. So I can do a very subtle gradient, just very, very subtle to create fog. And we're just using the gradient tool and we're just slowly creating this subtle fog effect. Make things look a little bit more cold. Very, very good. This blue here, I'm gonna do a little bit more here, but we wanna add a little bit of a detail. But really quick, let's actually merge these trees into that layer. There we go. And create just a very subtle fog. I'm gonna go up at an angle a little bit. Drop it down, okay. And we're gonna add a little bit more detail here. I'm gonna use the lasso tool, but it's gonna be the, the first lasso tool here, not the polygon lasso tool. And I'm gonna cut out little circles, okay. Just little tiny circles. Okay, why am I doing this? Well, to create a fog effect. If we do a motion blur onto that, like this, and change the angle to that, now it looks like there's fog rolling in. See that? Very subtle fog effect, okay? Again, we're gonna do the same thing with this layer here. Again, we just cut out little circles, and then do a motion blur just like that. And we're just creating some very subtle fog. Nothing too crazy here, right? We're gonna do, we're not gonna do anything with this layer here. Looks great. What I do wanna do really quick is add a little bit of a bloom. Bloom is when light peels or, or spills over a horizon, okay? Or over a silhouette. So I can actually add a little bit of a bloom here, just like this. And now it doesn't look so intense at the top there. It almost looks like it's, um, fading into some fog there. That looks really, really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get this layer looking proper, okay? You'll notice that this layer looks kind of out of place and it's because it's purely white. So we're gonna try and simulate snow here um, that sort of caked itself onto this tree. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna create this lasso tool or use the lasso tool and I'm gonna just basically add in some very subtle pops of dark blue, so it looks like the pine tree has snow peeking through, right? And it's not gonna be very intense. We're just gonna use a brush here, a very subtle, soft brush. And I'm gonna take this blue here, do that, looking good, and then slowly fade out certain portions of it. So it's not super intense, we're just creating a little bit of a detail here. That looks good to me. I'm gonna take that, duplicate it, stretch it, and just add a little bit of texturing here. I'm gonna flip it horizontal, just duplicating that layer. And I'm just gonna position it in such a way that it looks like it makes sense, okay? There we go, that one looks cool. Okay, one more. You just sort of have to think about it in your mind's eye, right? That looks good too. All right, merge those layers together. And again, just sort of mask out just a little bit the areas that you don't like. That looks good to me. Very, very subtle, very, very subtle. Yep, that looks good. So it now has a little bit more of a three-dimensional look. Now, what's really gonna make things pop is adding shadows, okay? So we're gonna add some shadows to this. 
We're gonna start at the front here. I'm gonna make sure I merge all these layers together. So let's just go ahead and merge all of our various layers together with all those, the fog and the shading. I'm just gonna merge them down, okay? Merge those layers. Good, good, good. Awesome. Let's start with this layer here. We're gonna create a simulation of a shadow, okay? So this is actually gonna make things really pop. So let's just pretend that the sun is coming from over here, okay? And in fact, we could even simulate that, right? We could, we could um, just create a pulse of white um, beneath, behind this, like that, see? And I could even pull this down and then even on the front layer, the very, very top layer, you do a subtle pulse like this, but not as intense, okay? So that's great. So now we know the sun is coming from over here, right? Well, let's go ahead and jump to this layer here, and I'm going to add shading. I'm gonna use the polygon lasso tool. And remember, if the sun's coming from the right side, that means there's gonna be a shadow on this side. See that? So I'm just gonna take this, fill this in with this blue color here, a little bit of a gradient like that. See that, look at that. There would be even a shadow under here as well. There would be a shadow under here as well. And there would also be a shadow being cast like this. So I can just do this. Look at that, isn't that cool? So I'm gonna create a new layer here actually, so I can have a little bit more control over this. There we go. Okay, and I can even add a little bit of a motion blur to that to make it look a little bit more blended. Let's go to the blur, motion blur. There we go. That looks great. You could even do it for this as well. Looking good. Now you notice that this is kind of blending in with that. So what we're gonna do is go to the other one here, this layer behind it, and do the same thing so that it's a little bit more dark over on this side, okay? Not as much detail. We're just gonna use our mind's eye here. Not as much detail, see that? And then we're gonna do it right here as well. Again, shadow that's sort of getting cast at an angle, right? go and we're just gonna do a subtle pulse look at that isn't that cool all right let's add a little bit of a shadow here to make it look like there's a deep valley there nothing too crazy though all right and maybe even add just a pulse of just just to create some texture guys just some very subtle very very subtle shadows being cast, almost like these are being cast, okay? So I'm just gonna do that, whoopsie. We're just gonna do this, there we go. Oh, that looks great. And maybe add a little bit of a motion blur to that. Yeah, it looks good. And then finally, a kiss of sunlight over the top here. Just using the paintbrush. Very subtle kiss of sunlight. And you could even do a little bit of kisses right here. Okay, we could do one here, we could do one here. Okay, we could even add some over here and just kiss. It's a very subtle kiss like this. And then fade out the bottoms and the sides so you don't see those harsh edges. And now we have that subtle kiss there, okay? All right. One final thing that we wanna to do to add to this, well, there's two final things. The first one is, let's add some clouds, okay? So watch this. We're gonna do a very subtle pulse like this. We're gonna use that lasso tool though, and we're gonna cut out like this. See that? Just cutting out those clouds. And then do a motion blur. We're gonna do a motion blur perfectly at zero degrees. So we still get some of those sharp lines, right? But it's still kind of blurry. And then we're gonna fade this out. This edge here, I don't really like how that looks over there. So we're gonna do something like this. 
Very, very good. All right. And then one final in front of everything, okay? So again, pulse of white, and we're gonna cut out significant circles like this. Just really random here. We don't want it to be too intense. And then a motion blur. This one can be a very, very strong motion blur. And I might even squash it down like this and drop the opacity down, okay? Very, very good. Now, let's add some dabs of snow. Okay, I'm gonna use the pencil tool and we're just gonna click. A variety of smaller bits of snow. Now it doesn't look very cool now. Small ones here, okay? I'm gonna duplicate that layer and then do a motion blur, okay? But the motion blur is gonna be at a 45 degree angle, like this. Very, very good, just like that. And then I'm gonna push it to the right a little bit so it looks like it's being dragged behind, okay? Merge all these layers together. I'm gonna drop the opacity down using a mask tool, but only for some areas, okay? We don't want the whole thing to show up because it looks really kind of I don't know, manufactured. So we're gonna do something like this. Very good, awesome. Now, if you don't like the way your snow looks, you can actually just Google, and I don't recommend you know shipping a commercial product this way, but snow or blizzard PNG is something you can search for. I actually like it against black because I can copy that image, paste it, and then do a multiply or a a uh, screen effect, just like that, see? Drop it down, and then we could even fade out one side. There we go. Very, very good. So just pull that up just like that. And then remember that brush I mentioned? The sun shaft brush, or the god rays brush, that's another way of putting it. We can just do this. Do a full opacity and just click and add those god rays. And look, if you wanted to add a little bit of a character, right? You could just, I like my characters to be very, very tiny. So we could do a boy. Um, let's see here, a silhouette of a boy. So we could do a little head here with his jacket. I'm just using the pencil tool here, nothing crazy. Doing that. And then we could take the polygon lasso tool, do something like this. And then let's find a very contrasted color, maybe this orange, um, and do it over top of his hat or his head here. And then do something like this, maybe a red. All right. Good, just like this. Good. <laughs> Little white eyes, right? And then maybe mittens. There's our little boy. And ideally in Unity, and this is more of a concept, but ideally in Unity you would program a shadow, right? And I'm gonna tweak the colors a little bit of the boy. I don't really like his colors, so I'm gonna merge all these layers together here. Merge them together. Let's do a little bit of a shift, because I don't really like those colors. Let's shift the hue and saturation. Ooh, drop the saturation down. That looks great. So that is our final result, okay? Very, very simple. Um, in reality, it took me about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna cut this video down. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna learn more, by the way, about how to do art like this and really master it, my 2D art program is included in the full-time game dev program. So not only are you gonna learn how to make a game, uh, with C Sharp and how to build a profitable studio just like I've done. Um, you're also gonna learn how to do 2D art and really master it like you just saw here. And that's included for free with the 50% off discount. So you're gonna get all those programs plus my brushes, my patterns, and also my uh, color templates um, free, but only for the next 14 days. And there's only 100 seats available. These usually sell out. Guys, this supports the channel. It supports the games that I create, but more importantly, it does support you in your future. I have 3,500 students who love the program. 
click the link below to get started. Hey, this was really fun, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that cool stuff, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, cheers.